All right, so we're here with our favorite closer up at Investor's Title here. This is Katie Kobe, and she's closing us on two of the properties that we own and rehabbed. What are we doing today? We're closing two properties. Oh, all right. Closing two properties. So this is a 100K day is kind of what we're calling it because we're gonna actually bring home checks for about 100K that actually go into our account, not all rehab money. You probably know us more as the Burr guys because we are all about buying rentals to put into our rental portfolio. Well, today we're selling one of them that we've held for a couple years because man, the market is just crazy. And one of our Burrs, we said, hey, let's go ahead and flip this one. So that's what we're doing. We just did Which our- Which properties are we selling? We're selling Ooh, that's Floorwood? a question. Yeah, Floorwood and Tomahawk. And Tomahawk. Okay, awesome. Yep. So one of them up in uh, North County area and it's in one of the little pockets that we don't love. So we're trimming our portfolio, getting rid of those. And one of them is just a little bit further south than our typical rentals. So we said, let's see if we can make 25, 30 grand on it. And yeah. that's where we're at. The one that was South Tomahawk when we bought it, the plan was to burr it. However, we knew going into it that we bought it at such a great deal. We buy it at a discount. And and because of that, we might be able to walk away with roughly 40 grand on doing the rental grade rehab and then listing it versus burring it. Again, we love to burr. When you can walk away with roughly 40K on a rental grade rehab, you gotta do that sometimes. So that one was uh, you know, basically intended to do what we did. And then Mike, as you mentioned, Floorwood, the one up in North County, you mentioned trimming the portfolio. We have five or six rentals that we're getting ready to add right now. So we're not necessarily trimming it down, oh. but we are rebalancing. I didn't even tell you I got a great lead coming in too on five in St. Anne on the same street. Ooh, I love that one. Referral, I think it's off market. So it's okay. another investor, but yeah, we might be able to make the numbers work on that too. That's how awesome. Long, how long do you guys own Floorwood? We about bought Floorwood three years. About three years. Two or three years. Yeah, give or take. Do you know how old the building is? Uh, 50, 60 years. Give or take. Give or take. Uh-huh. Is Mike doing all the signing today? Yeah. I'm just witnessing. You're just here for moral support. Okay. Well, you, can't say, right. you can't say you didn't know I sold these. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Got you on tape. <laughs> it's a good thing. That's right. That is right. So I think 36K on uh, Tomahawk, right? Don't, Roughly. Did I need to sign that again on the bottom? Nope. Okay. And then uh, Floorwood is... 77. 77. Yeah. So what's that equal? 110? 113 is what I think I did. 113? All right. 100K a day. 100K, 100K a day. day. Katie gets baby. it. That's right. 100K day. Yeah, they don't happen often. Uh, we need to make them happen a lot more <laughs> they often. They have them happen a lot more often. We've had yeah. quite a few 100K days. We yeah. have about a dozen of them at this point, but... Again, it's not that often though. Yeah. Dozen hundred K days is good, good, but we need to do that. We need to have one of these a month. Yeah, so why is Mike the only one signing? Well, Dave and I are both busy and it's easier for us to both be able to sign on behalf of our entities. Mm. So that's how we have it set up so that Dave wouldn't even have to be here today or I wouldn't have to be here today so that, again, only one of us would have to attend to the closing because we didn't know our schedules when we set this one up. But Dave is here and unfortunately my name's on the paper so he doesn't get to sign. <laughs> he doesn't get to play today. Yeah, I didn't need to be here though, which is nice. And uh, Mike, you bring up a really good point. You know, when you have an entity that has multiple partners in it, you can make amendments to the operating agreement and basically give signature authority to one of the into one of the members or managers of the of the LLC. And in this case, I could sign for it or Mike could sign for it. Or we can both sign for it. But it's nice being able to divide and conquer mm -hmm. if you have a team. So everybody doesn't have to rush to the title company every time you have a closing, especially if you're doing a lot of volume. So Katie doesn't get the get to see me all that much because Mike typically comes in and does the signing. Which well is we nice. did it. We've done it differently over the years too. Yeah. Because we used to have Megan, she was and our Megan, closing coordinator right? do it. But again, I don't think that makes sense for us anymore. Right. Um, yeah, it just makes sense for one of us. Yeah, it's good to involved. review it as well, too, you know? Before it's Does time. this matter, customer? There's a lot of customer lines. Pick one, you can say it. Okay. <laughs> We wiring the money? No, this is for them to send me the proceeds. Okay, so gotcha. Sweet. You'll notice I read every document very thoroughly. Oh yeah. I would encourage you to do the same. You got photographic memory though, Mike, so you're good to go, bro. Mm -hmm. No problem. Do are we gonna get paid tomorrow? Most likely for both of these? Or, are you? Gonna... One closing today, so you should check should be ready today for that one. Okay, Tomahawk's cool. Tomorrow, so Probably Tuesday ready. then, or maybe Friday, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Okay, oh, yeah. sweet. Should be tomorrow. Either way, no big deal.
Okay, so one closing done. One closing done. Check. How easy was that? Sign some docs. We love closing at title companies because they do all of the work essentially and make it really, really easy for us. What does it cost to, to close? What, what's the cost for, on average, for these two here? Um, for the sale of a property, you're looking between 450 to 550, depending on- To other sell it, and that's the seller side. The buyer yeah. side's typically gonna be two to three times that amount. At least, that's dependent upon at sales least. price. And, and the sales financing. price, right. And the reason that it's gonna be two to three times, if not more. On the buyer side is, as Katie mentioned, there could be financing, which is gonna create more work. Um, and also a title insurance policy needs to typically be, be purchased by the buyer. And why, Katie, would somebody need or want a title insurance policy? So we make sure when you purchase the property that you have a free and clear title. So if anything came up prior to your ownership, like if an heir, an ex-spouse came forward and tried to stake any claim, or you had any issues with bills, taxes, that sort of thing, we um, step in and help solve that issue. Right. And oh, as the title company here, and you guys prior, obviously, pull all the liens. Right. All the liens could be mortgages, could be seconds, could be lines of credits, could be judgments, MSD, could be, taxes, yep. MSD, sewer, all this stuff. So they pull all that stuff together. How long did you own Tomahawk? Six months. Six months. Do you know how old that house is? 50 to 60 years. Give or take. <laughs> that's about all of them yeah roughly that's fair. it's not downtown so you know it's yeah. not uh it's not 110 years old or whatnot 100 give or take yeah. <laughs> yeah so do you guys do title do you guys do closings without title insurance we do not you don't you know we run the title and we do the paperwork you guys require that okay yep. and what how often this is probably a stupid question but I'm learning here too. How often does the seller pay for the title insurance? Not very in Missouri. Now that's a state by state situation. Okay. Some states, sellers pay it. In okay. Missouri, typically it's the buyer. Really? I didn't know that. Yep. Some states, this, and that's customary in those states, Correct. that the seller pays it. Correct. What? That's wild. That is really wild. And the title insurance, is through a third party company, right? Correct, yeah, we're the agent for the underwriter. You're the agent we're for the, the underwriter. The middleman, if you will. And the and you guys purchase the policy for us, and then we pay you at closing, right? Is that how that works, essentially? essentially yeah. Okay, and is that title insurance policy insuring you all's work? Or is it, you see what I'm saying? Like, that, that's kind of a, a hard question for me to even ask. Yeah, I- But is it insuring your all's work on the, on the transaction? Or is it insuring the actual deed? Meaning if I were to go to another title company later, could I still use that title insurance policy or would I be forced to come back to this one? If you were to close, like if you sold the property at another title company and you needed an issue resolved, you'd come back to us. Got it, okay. So we, any issues prior to your ownership, we would resolve. And that's what the policy would cover. And that covers all the costs, hopefully. Correct. The insurance would pay it. Basically. So what's really good though is to have a reputable title company like Investor's Title here. That's been right. 50 years. Been around for about 50 years. They're not oh, going anywhere. 50 to 60. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Katie, thank you again for always helping us and always being, uh, just being so great and so responsive. This is actually great. I don't think we've ever recorded a full closing. I don't think so. Oh, you know, know what we did? Whenever we did our uh, 320K wholesale. Yeah, 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 the 100 But I don't even think we've ever take. even posted that though. Right, I think something. we waited because we were like, we want to wait till it's done Man, I'm kind of done. feeling left out over here. Can I sign something or what? <laughs> yeah, man, well, give me a piece of paper to, to draw on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Doodle, uh... Well, again, if we don't know, we're all going to be around right. like, and when they're closing, it just doesn't make sense to make sure we have to have everyone. Now on the refis, it's a different story a lot of times because they want Dave. They want that personal guarantee on a lot of them. Yeah. Well, that's on the buy. On the, that's on the buy, the, the refi. refi. Yep. Yep. Refi. But on the sale, that's a great point, Mike. On the sale, there's no personal guarantee needed on these. We're just selling. And yeah, I like that. Some banks require me to sign that personal guarantee. Others, it's just kind of assumed in the paperwork. Interesting. I know. Like that on must the, depend on their on the, on the note and all that other stuff. Yeah. So, personal guarantee. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. So we're buying it in the entity, right? So the entity can be dissolved really easily. Like we can just be like, oh, Sundays doesn't exist anymore. We're out. House of is gone. <laughs> but the person still around. So they want the person to personally guarantee it, meaning they can come after your assets too. Yeah, they're giving us a loan and that loan is backed by two things. It's backed by the property itself and it's also backed by us. 
So in the event that we stop paying them and they have to take that property back and they sell that property, but that the proceeds of that aren't above, equal to or above what we owe the bank, let's say that there's a shortfall of like 10 grand, well then they can then come after us for that 10 grand. It just ensures that they're covered. So that essentially is, is what a personal guarantee is. Great question. Did I, did I say that right? Okay, good. Figured that would be pretty straightforward. How's your wrist? You getting sore? This is two in a row. This is a lot. It's a lot That's of. Last one. Woo! I, I so we... Hey, can we review the HUDs real quick? Sure. Just uh, not that I'm gonna nitpick all the fees. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, Megan did, and she got us down a hundred bucks. Oh, cool! I just well, wanted for the camera here. Yeah, to... like I said, our, yeah, our pricing just. I haven't. Well. I haven't reached out to. Yeah, I didn't reach out to Diana yet oh, okay. because. Okay. So let's look at this one here. This is. Tomahawk sale price was 189. Looks like we had a loan to for 145. And basically, what matters on this is the due to seller. So this one here is 36,000 and change that will get paid on tomorrow. What we're signing today, and this one here was for floor wood. Bought this one for 85,000. We don't even have a loan on this one, and the reason. Um, I'll tell you in just a second, but the proceeds on this one are 77,682 and some change. So I believe those numbers equal roughly 110 to 113, something like that. So the reason that we didn't have a loan on floor wood, that, that second one, um, is because we bought it in a package of three or four. We refied it. In oh, a we pack refinanced of four. it in a package of four properties. So we bought all these properties individually, rehabbed all these properties, got them all rented, and then we refinanced them. But when we refinanced them, we packaged four properties into one loan. And we've owned these properties for three or four years. Well, the value of those loans or those properties has all gone up. So whenever we went to sell this one, we had to have the, the, the bank, the lender, give us a partial release on that loan. Well, because the values of all the other properties had increased, they didn't actually require us to pay any money towards that loan to sell that one property. So essentially we didn't have to pay the bank at all and the amount of debt that we had on that particular property went to zero because it was transferred to the other three. So that really, really cool. And that's really what the Burr method will do. And that's what refinancing and packages will do along with a little bit of help from appreciation over a couple years time. So awesome. Right. All right. Thanks, that's Katie. a wrap. You're welcome. That's a wrap. Thank you.